Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Fluffy back with another video. <laughs> back with another video for you guys. For today's video, I'll be making some curry goat. I don't know curry goat. If you guys want to see how I make this, stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notification, all that good stuff. Follow me on my social medias, Instagram, Snapchat, and tickety tickety talk. Make sure you guys watch all the commercials. And guys, look at my little Aaron. It's so cute. <laughs> Strawberries was dangling around. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for this. You don't know today we're gonna cook some goats. I already got the goat cleaned up right here. Oh yes, guys. Um, I bought this at my local meat shop. They already had it cut up for me, so I didn't have to worry about that. That's why they're so tiny right here. And this all the veggies that I'm gonna put up in my goat. Okay. Let me zoom on, on that for you guys. Oh, to zoom. <laughs> All right, so I got my bell pepper. I'm just using a small piece. I got my tomato, my scallion, and a small onion. Just a little onion. And my habanero pepper. I'm going to use the whole thing in here. So when you're making curry, it has to be spicy. It has to have a little bit of kick. And I don't like spice like that, but it complements it. When you make your curry, you got to have your spice in there. So I'm just cutting up this bell pepper. It don't matter how you cut it up because it's going to get disintegrated all up in this when you cook it. Y'all, I was so happy <laughs> to find out that they have goat man I haven't had uh, curry go in years As a matter of fact I haven't had curry go in years in a couple of years so I was excited for that honestly this is my first time making it the cook time is gonna take about the same time as oxtail depending on how fresh this goat is because I bought this from frozen it was like 14, 14 something, almost $15. Almost $15 for this goat. Honestly, I think it's a good amount for, for goat. I remember growing up in Jamaica. <laughs> I think, was it a wedding? We're having something. I knew we were prepping for a wedding or something. And you know, you have to buy a goat. Usually they buy a goat. So we had a goat and they roast the head. So I had me some uh, <laughs> goat brain sandwich. That was many, many years ago. I say you knew I was adventurous. <laughs> oh, so I'm just cutting up this scallion. Ooh, bring this over here. Ooh. Make sure this recording because man oh man, I'll be mad. Oh man. Yeah, it, it was soft and mushy. But it was alright. Would I try it again? Maybe. I'll give it one more shot. Ain't gonna kill me. Guys, I'm also gonna add um carrot and uh, uh potatoes later on. Like when I when it's almost finished. I'm going to add my carrot and potato in there. Also, I'm going to add some garlic. Y'all, make sure. Make sure. Ooh, this ain't going to be nice and good. Make sure you add your garlic in your curry goat, man. Garlic and your habanero. These things will make it good. This will bring your curry together, okay? All right, just take a look. You got your bell pepper, you got your tomato, you got your scallion, you got your onion, and your habanero pepper. So I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna bring this curry right here. Put on a glove. If y'all been watching my videos, y'all already know curry can be a little messy, so it'll mess up your nails and your clothes. <laughs> 
and every single thing. So I'm going to go with my complete first, my complete seasoning. Make sure y'all can see this curry. Ooh, hold on. Curry, curry, curry. already heating up a little bit so I'm just gonna go with my complete just a little bit I'm gonna go with my Creole seasoning I need to get some more <laughs> you can get these at Walmart I'm add some Maggie in there I'm gonna pair my curry goat with some rice and peas you can use a white rice if you want you can make it with some dumpling if you want some boiled dumpling I'm add some black pepper in here black it up black it up whoa 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 yeah 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 and I'm gonna add one packet of my saison, saison, however you want to say it, seasoning in here. I just love the color that it gives. Ooh, great. And the star, I'm using mild curry. You can find this in international section if you go to Publix. For sure, international section at Publix. Depends where you live, you can find it at some Walmart. Depending where you live. Or you can order this online. And I'm going to go with some turmeric. Some turmeric powder. Going to bring everything together. Guys, save your, put your curry aside. Because we're going to cook it up some more. We're going to add some more to the pot. With your, um... With your garlic and cook that up first before you add in the goat. So save the curry on the side. So now I'm going to go with all my good up veggies. Put these over here. So go with your onion. Ooh, yes. Go with your scallion. Your tomatoes. Put all your tomatoes up in here. And your hot pepper. And you got your bell pepper right here. Woo, let's combine these. Combine everything. Make sure y'all can see. Yes, it look good. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's the manga on the river. Guys, I'm so excited for this. It's been so long. Years in the making. If you guys are here watching this and you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscription button. Please subscribe to the channel, okay, so you don't miss any of my awesome videos. Oh, yes. Oh, everything flashing out. Y'all be careful with this curry, because this curry will mess up everything. And open up your windows when you're ready to cook this, because my, my curry sent me lingering for days. For days. Okay. You can put this in the fridge to marinate overnight or up to an hour if you ain't got time. Ooh. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Curry me down. So this is how you season your curry, okay? I'm going to come back and show y'all how to, you don't know, cook it up. Cook it up, so yeah. So All right, guys, so I got my pot right here, ready to go. So I'm going to just add some oil up in this. Not too much oil, okay? 
Whoa, whoa. Oh, I want to try this spaghetti. Oh, this is good. So I'm going with I'm going to go with my minced garlic. And you can cut up your fresh garlic if you want. But this works for me. I just have a little bit left, so I just use the whole thing. Then, you don't know. You don't know. I'm going with my mild curry. If you like extra, extra, extra spicy, you could definitely use spicy curry, okay? But I and I, I and I count under all of that. So make sure you put a good amount of a curry up in this. I mean, you want my something to taste good. Ah, that's good enough. So I'm just mix this around town. Oh. Y'all, this, yo, this thing already smelled good. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, do it this way, man. Put some oil, put some curry powder, and you cut up um, garlic. Start it out, and then put a piece of um, pepper in there. Scotch bonnet and pepper, uh, like almost the whole thing. Whew. Curry, it'll come out good. It don't matter what else you do to it. It'll we'll come out delicious. Oh, man. So, I'm going to cut my temple to high. Don't burn your curry. And don't burn your garlic. Just put it on high. Wait for the right timing. You want to see a little brownness, but not too, not where it's burning up, okay? Before you add your curry in. Remember, look at it. Ooh, baby. You see that? That's all good. Man. I wish I was on a farm. <laughs> so I could raise, so I could raise my own goat. My own goat. I know when I was younger, you know, <laughs> I used to have my own little garden. I think I was like nine, ten or so. You don't know, all the kids that have their little garden, grow them little, what did I grow? Peppers? What else did I plant? Bell pepper. I know my cousin, he had, he planted some bell pepper. The things spring up nice. I'm like, damn. All right, this thing look good up. This thing look good. So I'm just going with all my curry up in here. All my curry goat. Ooh, that's a lot of goat. All right, now this the stove is on high. Okay, make sure your temple is on high because oh, it's gonna drop. The heat gonna drop, so make sure it's on high. When you put this meat up in there, so I'm gonna just cover this like this for about five to ten minutes. Cook up that side and then come back and flip it over and all that good stuff. And then add my water and all that. So Sue come back, I'm going to clean up the rest of the kitchen. Then I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, so let's take a look inside. Oh, smells so good.
So I'm gonna let this cook up for about 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna come back, okay? And then I'm gonna add water and all that in there, okay? So Sue, come back in 30 minutes. Right, guys, let's take a look inside. Whew, yes. Guys, I haven't put any water in it. It's been steaming, cooking up in its own juice. Oh my God, yes, this thing. See all that boom? All right, so I'm going with about two cups of water. I'm using the same container with the seasoning that I had with uh with the meat and all that. So I'm just adding it in here. Season it up. So right now I added about a cup and a half. So I'm gonna let that cook. So I'm gonna let this cook up. The temp is still on high, okay? It's still on high. So I'm bring the store boil, let it cook down for about 50 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes or so. Then I'm gonna add the rest of this water and then let that cook down some more. And I'm gonna cut up my uh, carrots and my potatoes to add in there. So I'm gonna see y'all back in about an hour or so, okay? Lego. Ooh, it's already started to bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. So Sue, come back. Lego. All right, guys. So let's take a look inside. So I added the rest of the water, and my temp is still on high. So the meat is getting a little softer. It's getting there. There you go. To poke it just need to cook down just a little bit longer about 30 to 45 more minutes but in the meantime between time i'm gonna add my carrot and my potatoes like i told y'all earlier so make sure you cut them in a good chunky size because you don't want them to disintegrate into your sauce into your pot you still want to see your um potatoes I don't care if these, uh, <laughs> I don't care if the carrot disintegrate. I don't want to see them anyways. But I want to taste my potatoes. I'm just using two small or medium, medium sized potatoes. I just use two. Oh, yes. And I'm add a little bit of ketchup. <laughs> if y'all been watching me, you don't know what to say. I put ketchup in everything. Just a little, little bit. Oh man, this uh, potato going to soak up all the curry juice, all this goat juice. Man, this ain't going to taste so good. So my temp is on high. I'm going to cover it up and just let it do its thing about 30 to 45 minutes. And then it's done. Done, 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 done. Done, done, done. Can't wait. See y'all when it's finished. Bye. All right, guys. So here. Here is the finished result. Man, this curry goat look good. The potatoes are still intact. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Woo! Hope y'all have a great day. Because I'll mess this curry up. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye!